The step-by-step -step approach consists of a few simple steps. Firstly, look for emergency signs and ask for the presenting complaint. This may take place in the waiting room already as you go through the queue of patients. If an emergency sign is found, the patient is taken straight to recess without further delay. If no emergency signs are found, we look for very urgent and urgent signs based on the presenting complaint. Whether we find them or not, we would in the next step measure the vital signs and calculate the twos. A twos of seven or more would indicate an emergency and again the patient would go straight to recess. A twos of less than seven would take us to the last step to check for additional investigations. We would now be able to allocate the patient into their appropriate priority level based on whichever clinical sign, twos or additional investigation points to the higher priority level. In all of these steps, the senior healthcare professional's discretion, i.e. the doctor or clinical nurse practitioner, may override the final triage decision. Once a triage category has been assigned, there are some additional tasks that need to be initiated in the triage area. These are different to the additional investigations as they do not change the priority level of the patient. Once additional tasks have been completed, the patient should be handed over. And if the patient waits longer than permitted, they should ideally be re-triaged.